Hey guys, Ryzen here, back with another short tutorial. Okay, now the one we'll be covering today is um, custom items. Okay, so let me discuss this. Okay, so when you actually make hairs, right? Suppose, um, you know, mostly we do it front hair and back hair separately and join them together but suppose if if you know by you know maybe you did everything in overall hair maybe suppose you thought you know hey we could actually you know chill, you know select one overall hair preset and then uh, suppose we have done one back hair of our own we can, you know, select that and uh, the overall, the front part will still remain, but that's not the case. As we can see, the front part is removed and, you know, these two are together and this one is completely separate, okay? So, yeah, keep that in mind. So, suppose, um, let me give you an example. Okay, let me just create a simple hair. Again, choose the group. Ah. Use the mirror modifier. All right. I'm just creating, creating randoms, okay? Just to show you guys. All right, ha, uh, this is a bit messy, but um, we're just gonna uh, just gonna ignore the mess, okay? So suppose we do this, okay? Now suppose someone has thought, hey, this is uh, this will be my front hair, and I want to do back hair too, and I want to do it separately. But hey, what the heck? I did it in overall hair. That means I if I choose a back end. The front hair gets removed, and I don't want that. Okay, now there's a trick to it. You see this, this over a hair. This is saved as an item. Okay, suppose let's rename it. Okay, let's rename it as um H. Okay, all right. Now suppose we want this H material to be over here we need to bring it over here somehow right now how do we do that right now for that these materials that you see these custom items that you have made are stored somewhere in your local app data folder okay so head over to windows tab and type in add rate app data add rate click on the folder open the folder and by default you will be sent in the roaming so click on app data then local low and then let's see myself kind of forgot let me check local low okay pixel leaf pixel leaf vroid studio and custom items and these are the categories okay so as you can see here, let me, I hope this is visible. All right. Eyebrows, eye highlights, eye eyelids, hair front, hair back, and stuff like that, right? Now, how do we identify which one the item we're looking for? Okay, now look at this. Now there are three of these, right? It's obviously gonna be an all hair, okay? The the overall hair thing. So there are three items, okay? And you can actually check which one your item is based on when it was created or when it was modified. So let me see the most recent one. 10, 
yeah, this is the recent one, right? So, okay. Now we want to actually edit this, edit this file, okay? Because this thing is, you know, actually there is something going on with this file right here. Vroid custom item. Now, to go in depth and actually change the internal things, internal data, we have to install a separate separate like it's basically just a you know for opening a file and i mean you i don't know if you can use winrar or not but um 7 zip is the best one that i use so i recommend using 7 zip so just install just download and you know um okay just download the thing and you know install it okay in your system and after doing that go back over here this is the latest one right even the timestamp is there all right 036 now right click 7-zip and click on open archive okay now you see these these files now head over to v1 custom items meta json now this is the notepad this is where we can change the type okay you can even conform it see this display name it, it matches with the h the h item uh, i mean we renamed it as h and this is as h you know and you see this all here that means it's in you know you know basically it's in overall hair category okay so you gotta change this text to the one that will actually be correct for you know for being in the front hair category okay now let me show you i myself have forgotten what the category is so to check all you have to do is go back to custom items hair front just choose any file you like open archive custom items meta json and check what hair type it is okay hair front that's the name hair front all you have to do either type in or copy this okay just close it all right and then open back the previous notepad with the with the file you know which you re which you saved it as okay the h file all right and just paste it hair front and then save the notepad and then it will ask you do you wish to update it in the archive press ok close it and now what you need to do this hair all hair category you'll see this one right you can even see the timestamp 041 and then you know cut and then paste it like so okay now you need to actually reload it i think so let me see i think you have to reload this one let me just close it open it again okay you know it, uh, the software has to update the data let's take a moment let's just choose this model that we were making before um let's see if the let's see if the hair preset actually you know exists now okay Okay, it's lagging a little bit. Go to hairstyle, run, custom, and you see this. Voila, that's the item. H item, right there. All right, perfect, isn't it? Wait, we can select multiple of them? I had no idea. But anyway, that's that, I guess. So, um, yeah.
But the problem with this method is, let me tell you, if you have actually made this, made this custom hair, I don't know why it's, it's like, okay, one minute, okay. What the, okay, see that? It acts as a separate item altogether. And it seems we can put a, put another preset over it. Or uh, see, that's the problem with it. And um, yeah, and also if you try to edit the hairstyle, this thing will show up for this preset only. Actually, let me prove it to you. Okay, continue without saving. All right. Close this. And okay, now you see this when I when this is selected, there's nothing appearing like edit hairstyle and stuff like that. That's because you actually can't edit it. Okay, so that's the only flaw. If you want to transfer or you know change the hair type from overall hair to front hair or back hair, you need to make sure that that's the final touch design that you have made and you can't change it later so make sure to you know do all of the edits in wherever you made it and then transfer it to front hair or back hair according to your needs okay and yeah that's it basically that's the flaw but um yeah make sure to keep that in mind and with that uh that's all i had to say Okay, now make sure uh, you can do more stuff with these custom items and, you know, do some tinkering here and there by changing the types. But um, do be warned, I don't think we can actually edit it on the same category as you have transferred into. Like, if you have transferred it from overall hair to front hair, you can't edit the hair in front hair anymore and you'll have to uh you'll have to you know transfer it back or um, you do the editing in overall hair itself okay so yeah that's the that's the only flaw there but um but um i think it's neat so yeah anyway that's really all i had to say about this tutorial i hope you got found it useful this uh, this is one thing I made a mistake once in a uh, once, you know, I was, you know, trying to make a hairstyle and, you know, after making the hairstyle, I realized I, you know, made a blunder by making the front hair and the overall hair by mistake. So I hope this helps those of you who are in trouble in need of this kind of, you know, editing. So yeah. That's it, I guess. So, yeah, I'm gonna end this episode, end this tutorial, short tutorial here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, bye bye.